So, it's been quite a long and eventful week already for us here at Celestial Pause. As you can see, Lara is very lethargic, which is absolutely nothing like she is normally. She seems to have come down with some kind of infection, so we started off by cutting back some claws. As you can see, Chili is enjoying her pampering a little more than I expected. I thought cats and claw clippers are a marriage from hell, but for some reason, she seems to think it's a brilliant thing. After my extremely long distraction from the cute Chili, who is just like a big baby, I managed to finally clip all of their claws. I didn't want any more scratching going on. Um, I didn't want them catching their eyes or anything like that. I was just assessing Chili's claws there to see if she needed a snip, but she doesn't seem to be affected despite everyone else being affected. So I've just sorted the kittens out. So this is the array of medications that I have been both prescribed and gone out and got myself from just knowledge from previous experiences. Despite having not gone through anything like this before in terms of a full blown infection, I had a rough idea what to expect to do because, you know, humans and animals can be treated much the same in many things and conjunctivitis happens to be one of those things. So as you may know, that tea is fantastic. Have you ever been told put tea bag on your eye when you've got conjunctivitis to clean it out? Well, the same premise with um, your pets or with cats in this instance, but yeah, I'm assuming the same would apply for a dog too. I'm um, using cotton pads, I'm using warm water and tea bags soaked in it um, to wipe out their eyes. So what I find that tea is good for is that it um, helps with the blockages in the tear ducts. Um, it also helps with inflammation and redness. I've already seen improvements in the last couple of days of using that. Um, I've also been prescribed some penicillin, um, that's mainly for Lara because her inflammation seems to be slightly worse. Um, as well as that, I've been prescribed some eye drops, antibiotic eye drops for her. Um, that's just hand gel from my hand so I can make sure I'm nice and sanitised in between treating each kitten. A syringe for the penicillin because it's liquid. I was not about to fight this kitten to give her tablets um, and I didn't fancy injections for her. Um, uh, oh, and I've also got this um, Bargalugs antiseptic eye cleaner eye drops shall I say um, I use it also to clean their entire face this is something I've used in the past right from the beginning as in like small small newborn kittens um, I swear by this stuff it's brilliant it's what's helping to clear up Bob it's just that Lara's um, excelled into being a little bit worse than Bob's one but ultimately this is something that you could use to treat at home or at least attempt to. Um, I use the tea bag method first with the cotton pads, then I go on to put this eye drop into the each eye. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's a lot there. Uh, I treat each kitten uh, with different things and hope for the best. Here they are having a nap. Well, this is Lara and her mum, Chili. They seem to be twinning, how cute is that? Like literally exact carbon copy of herself Chili's had this time around. Um, <laughs> they're so cute. Then after that power nap, as you can see, they have returned back to their path of destruction. They are feeling much more brighter. I'm so relieved to say the least. It has felt like, although it's half a week, yesterday this video was taken, um, it's felt like an entire week if not more treating them as you all know when your fur babies are sick it's like the worst feeling because you can't communicate with them to understand how they feel so all you can do is try to figure out what's the most comfortable thing to use to get them better so um as much as i don't like the path of destruction i'm so glad to see it at this point yeah so that's our week summed up i hope that your week has not been as crazy as ours